Hey, Gamex here. So, today we got some teasers for the Morrow's content. Some other things I want to talk about based off the Morrow's content. Some market talk. Of course, you know, Series 4 is inflicting a lot of, uh, I would say, punishment on the market. But uh, let's get to that a little later. First, let's talk about veterans on their way tomorrow. First up is, you know, a lot of people call him Tyrod Taylor, but it's, I think, Two Rod Taylor. Uh, because, you know, it was funny because he, like, it was called Tyrod for such a long time, but then, like, he never wanted to correct anybody, and, you know, it got a feel for the guy, he's kind of, kind of a nice dude, doesn't want to really say anything about it, but, uh, in the end, you should say it right, so, if I said it wrong, my apologies, but, uh, I don't know, I'm sure we've all been there before, it's like, you know what, I could correct them, but it's easier just to, like, let it go and, and move on with our life. Somebody call me, like, Happened to me in college. Somebody called me the wrong name for like an entire year. And I'm like, eh, I barely see him. It's not worth correcting him. <laughs> I forgot what the name was. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I was just like, eh, sure. My name's Frank Fox. Let's watch the Rock end. Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. All right, so... Veterans reroll. That didn't. That that really didn't work out quite like I wanted it to. And I, I I truly apologize for wasting your time with that dumbass little uh, story. Veterans player. Now we're gonna see this obviously go up since we're throwing ninety threes into the mix. We saw what eighty nine to ninety one went up to fifty four hundred. Our eighty nine to nineties are at forty five hundred. If we were to project this, I didn't even do the math beforehand. Um, but we're gonna guess it's gonna be like ten thousand. I don't know. They always really they they really kill us. They really absolutely kill us on the rerolls. Maybe, maybe it'll be lower. Obviously, we'll test it tomorrow when it goes live. Um, yeah, I'm, it's we're not gonna succeed. Okay, it's gonna be in the house's favor. EA is gonna beat us, but we'll see if it's glitched a loophole or anything like that. But anyways, the heavyweights, the veterans, we'll get flashbacks, rising stars. I think the biggest question in everybody's mind is when is power ups coming? Because everybody's like, oh, it's too expensive. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, power-ups are super expensive. But what you really should be asking is like, you know, how can I make money off that? Let's circle back on how to make money off that. I have to go through the second veteran before we get off one topic and onto another. Sorry, I get a little scatterbrained sometimes. I'm like a shotgun blast. I scatter everywhere. I guess, you know, actually it's normally pretty focused, isn't it? So, can't even get my metaphors correctly. Correct. Come on, Alexander! What can be said about Quan that hasn't already said been said about Locust, right? It, it's just uh, not exactly ideal, I will say. It uh, a linebacker that uh, is fine on a theme team for depth. Yeah. Let me look up what theme teams he goes on. I, I, I don't want to, you know, if you ain't got something nice to say, you ain't say it at all. He goes on all of... My internet's now acting slow. Thank you, internet. Appreciate you. Uh, but uh, I'll get him in tower in a second. So we'll, we'll see what this ends up going up to with the reroll. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. He is going to be on Tampa, San Francisco, and New Orleans. Tampa, San Francisco, New Orleans. Okay, that's Quan. What about Tyrod? Whoops. Didn't get my T in. Or two rod. Theme teams. So now, Bills, San Diego, and Baltimore. And Cleveland. He also gets it. Now, remember, veterans don't need the, uh, they don't need power-ups. They can just go on any theme team, which is one of the reasons why power-ups should go away, unless they take that suggestion that I said earlier um, as one of the reasons how to fix power-ups. We have uh, Team of the Week this week. I will say in this reroll, there is two new 95s in it, even though it says week 1 through 13. It goes through week 15, uh, but it only has the 95s in it. So just FYI, you're not going to pull a limit out of this pack. I did pull a 95 out of myself. I'll put that video up on my second channel. You guys can go watch that in a little bit later tonight. I'll put up my packs from Team of the Week. Otherwise, we'll get gameplay from that tomorrow from those new cards. So, on the second channel. Gameplay is second channel stuff. Let's go through what else I want to talk about. Now... A lot of people are super upset about the power-ups, right? A lot of people are, like, very angry that Moss's power-ups, Sean Taylor's power-ups are kind of expensive. But when you actually, like, legitimately look at them, and obviously if you want to have them on your team, that's, you know, kind of a negative, the fact that they're going for so much. 
But on a positive note is if you have the coins, you can still make profit off these things. We've talked about these for Market Mondays in Memorial. I don't know. Memorium? Mo in Ma I don't remember. 476 for an 82 overall. And then a uh, 96 overall for goals for 466. So that's a combined jillion dollars. 920,000 coins. And you're like, okay, well, whatever, dude. That's like expensive, bro. That should go down. But then you're like, look at these prices. You're like, wow, 26K for a Moss 86. What about the rest of the 86s? Generally, you can find these things if you snipe them. If you don't take, if you don't like immediately buy them all, you can buy them under 25 pretty easily for these 50 cards. Obviously, Friday might be even better profit. Series, series changeover is the best day of profit ever. I uh, will say 26K. 26k all right you're like well what the heck equals twenty six thousand times 32 not 21 32 so 832 thousand to make something going for 920 i realize now that damn that's break even with tax so you're gonna snipe the cards well that's kind of annoying screw them put them back in packs but if you are sniping these things, if you are going, uh, you know, one to one, going through all these things, cycling, circling down, there's a little bit of profit at points there, and uh, doesn't look right now. You want to buy under twenty five for any sort of profit, because you buy under twenty five, then you make thirty thousand coin profit off it. Uh, but you know, it's slim margins there, and a high chance that the market shifts on you if they ever end up do bring the power up. So. Just ways to take advantage of a high market, okay? And that's what we want to do here on the channel is profit off of them. Obviously, take a look at my market Monday for other profit stuff. Gap pack method. Look through other sets. Uh, you might be able to make some profitable. You might be able to make those 86 profitably by sniping golds and low elites. Um, also, like the biggest thing that I care more about power-ups, where are live playbooks, right? Like they brought in alternate playbooks. That was cool. They brought that in kind of early in the year, I remember. Like, what was it? I guess it took like a month or something. But still, they brought it in. Where are the live playbooks, EA? Where are the throwback slash classic uniforms? And where are the color rush, right? Where, why can't I uh, swag, as I say that word unironically, for the first time in my life? Why can't I swag out my player with color rush uniforms anymore this year? Huh, EA? They're in the game. You told me two months ago that you were testing them. I, uh, maybe we should, like, complain about this every day until EA fixes it. Color Rush, Throwback, Classic Uniforms. That's what we want. Please. EA, look upon us and smile. And say, soon. Please, do it. Uh, anyways, I'll mention something here about reroll for arbitrage. And I didn't actually do any math out here. But I do want to say, like, these numbers are approaching blitz level numbers. Okay? The 93s, the 95s, because Series 4 is literally staring down us, looking over us. It's basically... All right? So the market is getting a little bit uh, downward pressure as the buy pressure isn't really there, but the sell pressure is. So it's inching down a little bit in the preparation. Okay? And unlike Preparation H, we like to make things a little less comfortable. So... We say the word moist and we say, hey, maybe you should try and buy cheap training, re-roll something like, oh, I don't know, expensive 85s, right? Although the 85 market does shift. It's not necessarily always going to be 12K that you can sell them for. It does shift. Let you know 85s are inconsistently selling. But like arbitrage ain't a bad thing, man. You can make some coins off that stuff. So... Obviously, I would not be buying pieces for your team. It's hard to avoid, you know, if you got a new theme team card today, if you got like that Ricky Williams for your Baltimore Ravens theme team, even though, you know, Barry Sanders is better than any back in the whole game. Or you got that Bears Montgomery. You got a new Arizona Cardinal off the edge. Yeah, it's hard to avoid that stuff. And that's fine. It's just a game. Get what you want. Uh, but it, you still should be making coins this week. You know, I said that, like, obviously you can use this week to, like, do other things. You, you know, housework that you've been avoiding because you've been so addicted to Madden Ultimate Team for four months now. Everything's gone to shit. But, also, you can just also reroll stuff if you sold off your team in prep. So, 
I, I do suspect a lot of the top end cards maybe won't get as big a crush as people think, but a lot of the market itself will go down. Some stuff that you're like, oh, I'm selling off my like top end uh, Lawrence Taylor, my 96 overall, uh, Heinz Ward. I mean, people might, you know, be selling off that a little. Come on, just go to like, what does take us? I think my internet's messed up still. Uh, so your top cards might not take a huge beating, but the overall market will because pe people will be pulling packs. So we'll see. Some cards will go down like I talked about yesterday. Others won't. Not everything's a perfect one-to-one -one go down, but in general, 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 it might go down. All right, General Custer, maybe. Lincoln. Ken By the way, I hate Lincoln Kennedy. He's lucky he's a Raider. He'd be gone. I got to get a faster uh, right tackle. He's awful. I hate that card. Um, he's too slow. Yeah, I think speed matters that uh, offensive line now too. So anyways, I think that's what I want to talk about today with veterans. Frustratingly so for a lot of people, but I don't know. I've made I've made a fair amount of coins off the uh, Moss and uh, 50 Cent, so it's kind of like... Uh, let the good times roll, as they say here in Parts Unknown and nowhere else in the world. Till we meet again, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, or uh, just leave in the comments if you thought it was okay. And you don't, you don't want to feel like, you don't want, don't want to jump on sides. If you're, if you're a fence sitter, you're a middle kind of guy, or gal, but you're a guy. I look at the analytics, there's no girls watching this, except for Foxy. Love ya!